Lisa Lukes, it's Robin here. This is for people who are not using the services app on their phone, but instead are using their um, web browser for their laptop or personal computer at home. So um, if you haven't logged into Planning Centre services before, when you click the link from our members area, on our website, um, you'll come to this login page. So in my case, so what will happen, you click need a password and then go to your email, enter your email address, then you go and check your email and you will have a, a link there to set your password. So you follow the link, you set your password and then you should be able to log in. So once you've got an email address and a password, you can log in and you'll come to the schedule view so you can see up here um, you've got here's telling us that we're in the services app if i just show you the little drop down there are there's one other app that we use called people and that's our membership database but you'll be looking at the services app and then across the top here there are one two three four five different tabs so your tab that you'll be dealing with is the one that says my schedule and this shows you first a calendar uh, and then beneath the calendar it shows the dates that you are scheduled or not scheduled for. So you can see that I've actually entered some block out dates for the long weekend because I thought there might be a Celtic festival on this weekend but as it turns out there wasn't but anyway. Um, and then you can also if you use an online calendar like Google Calendar or Outlook or iCal, you can actually um, subscribe to Google Calendar or iCal, which just means that any time you're scheduled on, that will automatically appear in your normal calendar, uh, which is really handy for people who manage their lives with their calendars. So you can see here, um, then we move into this kind of second strip and what's showing here, this is actually my household. So that's me, that's Abigail and that's Christopher and I can see the whole household, what we're scheduled on for. Going to this next tab, block out dates, if I click on that, um, that will show the dates that I have blocked out and I can add more dates if I want to. Um, for example, uh, I'm going to be away on this weekend here. So I can add um, a starting block out date and then for my end date, I'll make that uh, it'll be coming back on the 2nd of August um, and, and that's because I'm going on a retreat. Now you don't have to put anything here, you can put none of your business if you want to, it's really up to you but if you want um, the scheduler to know why you aren't able to be there on those dates you can pop it in there and then you can save that block out and that just means that when whoever's doing the rostering uh, sets their schedule, you won't be scheduled on for the dates that you're blocked out. Uh, so you can do that at any time, which is really helpful. The next little tab here is about any messages that you've been sent. So this is emails that you've been sent or that you've received. So you can see I've got a list of received emails and then I've got a list of sent emails as well. Uh, and then if you want to e email your team leader, uh, you can do that from the app as well. Um, and you can select because you might be on several different teams. So you can choose the leader of the team that you want to email and then um, just type in what you want to and then send the email. Yeah. You can see this next list here it says that there are two sign up sheets available. So um, there's a job on uh, Sunday morning, June 13th that I can sign up for. So if I click on the sign up button, um, it's going to take me into the plan and I can see which jobs are needed. So there's a sign up button for leader support. So I can sign up for that. Different. Anyway, below the sign up sheets, you can see that two members of our household are confirmed. So Christopher's going to be doing the streaming production this Sunday and he's doing first aid and I'm doing music leadership on the 27th of June. Okay. Now um, you can also set your own preferences in the in your profile, which is this little picture of you, or it might just have your initials or something in the top right. So if you click on that and you click profile, it will then take you to your profile page 
On this side up here, you can set preferences for how often you want to be rostered on. And um, that's a really great way to make sure you're not rostered on every week if you don't want to be. So you can schedule yourself for um, up to as many or as few uh, plans per month. And if there were two events on in a day, for example, say if there was um, messy church on the same day as Sunday worship or something, well, that wouldn't happen. Um, you could be scheduled on for both of those things on the same day. You can also set preferences for your household members as well here if you've got them added in. And then below here, these are all the teams that I am either on or that I lead. Um, and I can actually set preferences for which jobs I do how often. So, for example, I can, um, I've said that I'm happy to clean or do sign in twice a month. Um, and I can change that if I want to. Uh, yeah, thanks once again for being part of our St Luke's helpers, team of helpers. Um, it all helps to um, support our community, to grow closer to God and, and um, to be God's hands and feet in our community. So thanks, everybody, and we'll see you at church. <laughs>